Hey guys, well, Christmas has not happened yet. I have to admit I'm already looking forward to the new year and I've been creating goals for myself, which I will share in the next few weeks. But one of my goals is to start selling physical items. It's something I've done in the past before, but I've taken a break for like the last year and I've been putting a lot of thought into the things that I want to be selling. So today I'm going to share a list of physical products that you could sell. This is not going to be an exhaustive list, but they're items that I would feel comfortable selling and items that like I would like to buy from other creators depending like what their topic is. So hopefully this will be maybe inspirational for you if you want to start some kind of physical shop. I mean, my stuff is still going to be online, but these are things that I will be shipping out or getting shipped out. So if that's of interest to you, stick around. And like I always do, I made myself a list. That's what I'll be referring to here. Some of these items that I'm going to be sharing, I have done in the past and I want to bring back. Some of them are completely new to me. Some of them I want to do in a different format than I've done before. So as I share each of these things, I'm going to be sharing a couple different options that you could do and maybe like how I will be doing it. So the first one is shirts. Now I have sold a number of different shirts over the years. Jared and I, our first ones, we did our own screen printing back when we were fundraising for our adoption and we had a nonprofit where we helped other people fundraise for theirs. So for that, we actually bought shirts in bulk and did the screen printing ourselves. And then last year, I designed a bunch of bookish shirts and those I got printed elsewhere and then they direct shipped to the people that bought my items. I flip back and forth between which way I want to do this next year. I think I will probably go the easier route and get people to ship them for me. But there is something fun about screen printing and like physically sending out the items. I loved going to the post office with my like big stack of shirt orders. I mean, I always felt bad for the people that ended up in line behind me, but there was something really fun about like physically touching everything that you're selling. Uh, but cost-wise, it ends up being about the same price for me where I live to create the shirt pretty much from scratch here, as opposed to getting a different company to do it for me. And it's a lot more work to do it myself, so I will probably get another company to do the printing and the shipping, but bookish shirts will be coming back. My whole plan for these items that I'm going to be selling is to start a shop on my personal website, which is just chantelclausen.me, and put up all the various things that I want to sell there because I have many interests, as you will find as we go through this list, and that will just be an easy way for me to do this. Okay, item number two to go with this is tote bags. I like tote bags a lot, actually. I wish more of them were designed with actual zippers, but I take one with me a lot of places. If I'm going to watch my son do parkour, I'll have like a bag with like my book and my water and my phone will be in there. And I like having a tote bag that displays somewhat of my personality. So uh, like a bookish one, or I'm pretty sure I have other aspects of my personality. I'm not thinking of any right now, um, but I would like to create some tote bags that will be like bookish tote bags and other things to be determined. And once again, I think what I will be doing here is getting a company to do the printing and the shipping because a lot of companies that do shirts also do tote bags. So that would just be kind of easier. My next thing is bookmarks. And I do use bookmarks. I appreciate bookmarks. I often will just use a thing of like book darts or book tabs for my bookmark, but I really like creating them and I use them sometimes and I think they're fun to receive and fun to give. So I want to create some different bookmarks. I haven't quite figured out how I want to do it exactly, but it's something on my list to do before the end of 2024 is create some and sell some. So 
the ideas there are still per percolating. They're probably going to be bookish themed since that makes the most sense with bookmarks, but maybe I'll throw some other things in there too. And then the next one is postcards. So I currently do have a postcard tier over on my Patreon. Every month I've been doing a new design. So far I've released three designs. So the people in my tier there, they get two postcards plus a sticker. And I send that out to them each month. In my shop on my site, I hope to have some of the extra postcards that I have that will be sold at a more expensive rate than just if people had bought them via Patreon. But then I also would like to possibly create some other postcards. I don't know. I'm a big snail mail kind of person. I have multiple pen pals and I really like sending and receiving snail mail. So I want to keep creating things for people that want to do likewise. And then I just mentioned that I do make some stickers each month for my Patreon. And that is another thing that I want to be selling is stickers. So once again, I'm going to do some like excess stickers that I have from that Patreon tier. Um, but also I want to create more stickers. I have so many ideas and this is often my problem. Like seriously, ever since this earlier this year that I realized I probably have always had ADD, like things just make so much more sense. And all the ideas is one of them. So I want to make like some bigger sticker sheets also individual stickers, which is what I've been doing thus far. And for this, I have been getting them printed elsewhere. I think maybe down the road, I might want to print them at home. But my thought there is definitely not until after we move, because it would involve buying some supplies. So I may print those at home, but not for the first while. But I think it would be fun. Like, there's so much more work to do this kind of stuff at home. But there's so much more fulfillment, I feel like, when you get to see the physical product and ship it out. The next thing is a reading journal. So I do currently have a reading journal. I've been using mine for a year and a half and it's almost filled. So I've wanted to design a new one. Um, currently, the physical copy can be bought off of Amazon. Um, I want to design a couple new ones for next year and I'm going to get myself one as well. Um, and then I also do sell the digital copies of them for people that just want to print them out. But I think it would be fun to do the current reading journal I have is a little bit more like a reading log. Um, I think it'd be cool to have a couple different designs, maybe with like spots for longer reviews for people that like that, or a different reading journal that's a little bit more like a reading challenge with different prompts and things. I have, once again, lots of ideas. And because I like physical paper and things like that, I would also like to create some pencil cases or like makeup bag type sized things. And once again, I think I will use a company to print this and ship this. It just seems like the best option for that. But I like little bags as well. It's definitely something I would buy. So it's something that I want to make. This is way off of all the other things that I've talked about. But one thing that I would like to try to make this next year is earrings. Oddly, I'm not wearing earrings right now. I usually am. I like earrings. They are an easy accessory that I find don't get annoying. And I have been saving lots of different ideas of ones that I would like to make. Plus, they're something easy that I could physically make and actually ship without it costing like price of your firstborn. So I have a few different ideas that's going to be coming on the second half of the year because it's not something that I want to buy all the supplies for before we move while I'm decluttering. That seems a little ridiculous, but it's something I probably will start like next fall. And another idea is mugs. I actually had a funny dream a while ago that my friend sold mugs but didn't tell anyone. Uh, there was more to it than that. Uh, but I like mugs, maybe a little bit too much. I like unique mugs. I put a bunch of them on my Christmas list. That's how much I like mugs. Um, but I think it would be fun to design some different ones. Like I've done some bookish ones before um, and maybe I could do more bookish designs and other designs. Once again, lots of ideas. So I just need to sit down and do this. And this will be something that I probably, yeah, I will have to get someone else to print and ship those because that would be very expensive to ship a box that size from Canada, especially since most of the people that buy my stuff live in the United States. It's easier to get them printed in the United States and then shipped domestically as opposed to shipping them internationally. There's something that I've wanted to buy for years and I haven't. 
and so I figured why not make some and that is coasters and once again I have quite a few different ideas on how I could make coasters. I might try a few things out. I always like to try different artsy things and if I can make them and sell them then I don't need to keep all of them. So sometime next year I want to try making a few different kinds of coasters. And then the last thing on my list goes back to my love of snail mail and that is greeting cards. And I, I don't know, I don't know how many people like actually use greeting cards anymore but I find them so fun to send to pen pals. I don't really like giving people like birthday cards necessarily, but I like an out of the blue greeting card in the mail or like sending that to a pen pal. Um, so I would like to make a few different designs for that as well. So there you go. There are a few different things that I want to make next year to sell. I like being creative in a bunch of different ways. So I thought that next year setting up a shop on my site putting all the stuff I'm selling on there kind of gives it a central location and might help my ADD brain a little bit. So I would love to hear what kind of physical things you like to sell for those who are into like knitting and crocheting. I'm envious of your abilities for sure. Um, let's just talk about all sorts of like crafting and creative and entrepreneurship stuff down in the comments. Thanks for being here guys. <laughs>